What's going on, lunatics? So the broader market right now crashing down around us. We're down about seventy billion dollars on the day. Bitcoin is back down to sixty-four thousand. Ethereum at thirty-one, thirty-seven as we speak. You might be asking yourself, what exactly is happening? Well, this is quote unquote the little cleansing before tech stocks in the United States did not do very well. Tech stocks in Japan did not do very well in the last little while, and it caused a, a more broad sell-off. Now. GDP for the United States came in pretty good as we're getting this morning. So I would expect to see a strong reversal in most of the markets as the day progresses. When you have a dip like this, could you have more dip? Yes, but also this is the moment where most likely you're going to see buyers start to really step in, specifically because Ethereum, the ETF, is still uh, per behaving at a massive level, almost matching Bitcoin still at this point, which is an incredible move. So more broadly, I would be looking for something decent to happen in this market as I'm watching it live as we speak. Now, what does that do for the Luna Classic price? Well, you know, you've seen some of these bigger projects kind of get buried today. Uh, Bitcoin being the least volatile of them, but Luna Classic down about 5% compared to Ethereum now down 6% and Solana also down 6% on the day. So broadly an altcoin sell-off and, and a little bit of Bitcoin, but what does that mean for Luna Classic? Well, fundamentally, it doesn't mean anything other than you are shaking out a bunch of babies who are, you know, I mean, these guys got to go pay for their own diapers or whatever it is that causes people to sell at a loss. They get scared. You can't help that. What you can help, though, is getting yourself informed about what is going on in the Luna Classic community. So thank you for tuning in. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button and uh, help me out. And if you like the content, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. So let's talk about what's going on. So the first thing that we break down is there's still more communication, more stuff happening here with Jesus's Lord proposal for on-chain taxes. And I encourage you to go read through this. And, uh, you know, uh, there, uh, there's, you know, a, a lot of um, uh, th matter of fact, th th Jesus is Lord is, is I'm, he's not returning to the validator chat. I've been, I'm in the validator chat, by the way. Um, and, and I don't know about the toxicity of it. Uh, I know that he doesn't vote the way other people would like him to vote. And, uh, he, he votes in a, in a weird sort of way. So, uh, it, it really, I think it's more about, you know, uh, a respect level for what it is that he's doing. But, um, if you come down here, you can see that there is a, a, a nice little conversation to be had here. A lot of people are starting to vote yes. So the question is, when does it turn up for governance? Now, the only thing that we have for governance right now is the 3.1.3 upgrade. Therefore, uh, we don't have any kind of proposal out there uh, being put to test. So I don't know. I, I think that what he wants to do is flesh this out, have conversation about it, and then push it out and then just kind of see what happens. So that should be the next um, the, the, the next step, I would say. Put it to a vote, let people start to decide. Now, of course, there's only 19 comments and it's not a whole lot of discussion being had about it. Most of the Commonwealth people are validators in some way that are coming up or interested parties coming up with different ideas and reasons for something positive to happen uh, or what they believe to be positive in the, the structure of how Luna Classic operates. So um, I, I will we'll wait with bated breath for this thing to come up as a proposal. So let me know what you think in the comments down below about this proposal of raising the tax to 1.5%. I Look, I, I'm going to support it because I, I think that at this point, despite what Binance said, remember Binance did say that if you raise it like this, this is going to change the dynamic of what they are doing. But they're whitelisted, so it's not going to affect them. So if it's not going to affect them, we're not going to burn anymore. And I'm going to show you that in just a few moments. So I'm going to vote yes, but I don't think that it's going to do very much if you follow that. Now, uh, let's look at price action. So brought we, we really had a nice move here, and we got out of this bottoming out. We got back into the range. This is where we feel comfortable, right? Well, now we've broken out of that range. Now, I circled this yesterday to show you guys that we had been in this range right here, and as you can see right there, we've kind of broken down, and we're testing this bottom right here at around 79. Multiple times, the market wants to tank. The market wants to come down. Again, the U.S. market, 
uh, tech stocks not doing very well, which is causing a broader sort of sell-off. Now, are we in Max Payne? That is a very valid question that you have to ask yourself, especially Luna Classic. Are we at Max Payne? If we're at Max Payne, then this is where new buyers are going to start to step in because this is where institutional or investment money starts to layer themselves in. And we'll talk about market structure one day, or you can watch it in another video of mine and you know we'll talk about it, but <clears throat> we need new buyers to step in and new buyers won't step in until the price is right. And the price being right comes in probably a little bit lower than where we are right now. But again, this is what the chart looks like. And you know we had a strong bounce up here from uh, what do you call it here? Uh, four zeros, 58, let's call it 406, all the way up to 409. Now, if you just consider that for a minute, that's a 50% increase in price action over a relatively short period of time. I'm on a one hour chart, but you can see right here, uh, it actually comes up to about 63% from that bottom. So in the event that we were to get a move to that downside and you were to reaccumulate right here, then you're looking at a strong bounce and you're feeling pretty good about your position. So that's what we see playing out on these charts right now. So then the question is, new buyers. How do the new buyers step in? Well, we got a low RSI. We got everything in place for that. So we'll be watching. I don't have an answer for you right now. Uh, I really are just kind of talking at this point. So let's move on from this. It seems to me like the, the price action is ripe for an explosive upside move. There's more to it. We're going to get to that. So volume still still very low right now. And by the way, a lot of this is um, uh, 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 this is broadly for the market right now. Volume is 86 billion, but a lot of that comes from very specific projects. So we're not seeing an increase in volume on a lot of on, on a lot of projects, just a couple of them. So uh, low price here and volume, low price here and volume. Uh, eToro, by the way, remember, we've got this eToro thing. We're looking for clarification, but eToro doesn't even show up here on the list. So when I look at volume and I'm looking for something with a lot of volume here, then there's nothing here. There's no, uh, there, 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 there's no eToro. Uh, what is going on, guys? You know, when I give it to you, it's important. Cryptonomy.finance just launched their own channel. This is a key financial sector for information every single day about what's going on in cryptocurrency and the broader markets. It's on Telegram and it's cryptonomy underscore community. Go check it out today. You know staking is where it's at. There's panic in the market right now. Fear and greed index is down in the 20s right now. And you should know by this point, it is a time to buy. So my first deposit right now, you guys know I'm bullish on it, API3. I really think API3 does a 100 to 300x in this next bull run. I just staked 4,000 API3. My reward on that, 2,892 API3. I think it's trading around $1.90 right now. So this is a big move for me, I think that this could produce some serious yield. Not to be outdone, you guys love Jasmine. I love Jasmine as well. I think it's gonna be the biggest thing uh, in, in blockchain for gaming at some point, maybe even integrated into Sony. 340,000 Jasmine right now. I just staked it for nine months. And my reward on this, 244,516 Jasmine. I'm super excited about this one. I think it's gonna be a big banger. But let's face it, the real money is made over here on the launch pool, water coin, water. We talked about it already. It's already up 6X. They took a big profit on this already. Cookie, you remember Cookie trending on Dex Tools, up 5X right now. Potoshi up 3X. Huge yields being rewarded. Cryptopia TOS was also 3X in the last round. Cryptonomy.finance knows what they're doing when it comes to these big launches. Make sure that you're contacting Cryptonomy.finance and if you do, you can use their 24-7 support line as well. Uh, you can convert your collateral into whatever it is that you need because they hold almost every crypto asset that you can possibly think of for staking and rewards. So sign up to Cryptonomy.finance today. Oh, and one more thing. In about a month, Cryptonomy is going to announce its own launch pad. It'll start launching its own. And guess what? You, as a customer and a VIP, VIP user, you're going to get first crack at all of the best projects. It's not financial advice. I'm always right. They're, they're, and of course, it's all being tracked. Like it doesn't even show up in the top, what is this, uh, 10? So we're in the top 20 right now. Uh, here's the top 30. Still doesn't show up in the top 30. So it, it, broadly speaking, 
very relevant. eToro is just irrelevant. They only trade like 30 crypto assets to begin with. So there's a, there's a much ado about nothing if you want my opinion. Now, if you uh, need to show off to everybody and say, hey, we're listed on eToro, then, you know, if that's what you think moves the chart, why is chart where it is right now? It was right here the other day, way before the eToro delisting. So this is much ado about nothing, but it's still interesting to find out what the answer is. So um, we'll see how this plays out over the next little while. Moving on, Terraport.finance. That's the sponsor of the channel. They're located right here. You should sign up over here today and start trading. All you have to do is connect your wallet. And then once you've connected your wallet, you can start trading these meme coins. Now, here's the good part. This is a dip. Buy the dip. That's that's the order of the day. If you buy the dip, you're going to make it. That's the way that this works. You buy a dip, you're going to make it. Now, Fear and Greed Index was really high the other day. I keep telling you guys uh, that the Fear and Greed Index is kind of your best indicator. When fear, is, when, when fear is huge and it's down in the 20s, buy. When it's in the 70s, sell. Could it still run all the way up? Yes. Most likely, dump. Okay, it's it's pretty simple. You, you just all you have to do is just follow the the trend line. So right now is a good time to buy some uh, meme coins right now, especially Raycoff. So if you come over here, check it out. And of course, in the Earn platform here, remember we staked our Terra. We only have about five thousand Terra, but we're staking it. We have over five thousand now. But we got uh, what is this? Six more days. It's going to unlock. We'll claim those rewards. We'll have a little bit more at that point, and then from that point. We're going to restake it for a longer period of time, get ourselves a nice little uh, bigger APY. Now, we can't get into the huge one over here. We're going to have to go for the 180-day uh, one right there. Uh, these are all sold out, so we're not going to get the, the good stuff, but you know, we'll get what we can. Uh, but the launch pad, this is where it is right now. We're claiming this every single day because we want those rocket tokens, and we want those rocket tokens because this is going to be that... Um, tower defense game i told you guys i'm super excited about the tower defense game if you want to go check out rocket you can always of course come here and then you can come over to their um, uh, official x account and you can start looking through it and it's early in development so uh you know we're just kind of waiting to see what this thing is going to look like um i, I don't have a date here for the launch yet we will probably scroll through here and we can probably figure it out but i'm not really concerned as much i know that when it's ready then the time will be right. Um, here it is, uh, July 16. They tell you that the the airdrop is a couple days away, so um, we're getting real close to it right now. So um, make sure you mac maximize. Make sure that you maximize because this could be uh, one of those really fun times. Speaking of really fun times, Terra Casino for all your fun. Have you ever had fun in your life? No. Well, maybe you should. Maybe you should have fun by going to Terra Casino, signing up at the link in the description down below. Um, bless your baby. Babies can't do it. But you, you're a grown-up. You can do it. Go to Terra Casino right now and start playing uh, casino, slots, um, sports wagering, PvP poker, uh, bonus card. You can trade uh, Bitcoin. On the crypto trading platform, all you have to do is make a determination which direction do you think it's going to go, and then buy. It's very, very simple. So all you have to do is make the right choice and you will win. So go check out Terra Casino today. And by the way, uh, that's doctor's orders. And you might ask yourself, Believes, are you a doctor? Uh, Why, well, yes, I'm a doctor of thugonomics because I'm followed by John Cena. So there you have it. Now, guys, in closing, I'm going to encourage you to go check out the Raycoff token. I'm not going to talk a lot about it today, but I am going to tell you that Raycoff, uh, Project CEX listing coin in Raycoff USDT. So there's stuff going on here with Raycoff token that you should probably be checking out. The project overview of the Project Juris protocol. I can't tell you what that is yet, uh, but if you come over here, again, there's a whole lot that's really, really happening right here with Raycoff. So I'm going to encourage you to go to terraport.finance, go into the trade window, get yourself a bag of Raycoff. And look, I can't tell you what to do. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. I can tell you that it is my opinion that Raycoff is probably going to be one of those things that you're just going to want to hold on to a little bit of just in case. And what does just in case mean? Well, Raycoff aims to be the market-making liquidity provider like the Anchor Protocol 
of Luna Classic, just like Anchor Protocol was for Terra. So in that case, that means that they become a lender, they become a staking mechanism, uh, and, and that's going to mean a lot in this ecosystem. Go back and look at the history of Terra and Luna. $119. One Luna token, $119. That's how crazy it got with Anchor Protocol. And that was the driving force behind it. Now, there's a lot of different driving forces behind Luna, behind Terra, but the number one was the Anchor Protocol. Well, if Rakoff is able to bring that back successfully, what do you think the value becomes for the Rakoff token in addition to Luna Classic? Not even to mention. So I would... I would be one of those people that like, I'm, I'm looking for some opportunity here. And this seems to be like a pretty big opportunity. So make sure that you're checking out the Rakoff token today. Now, if you want to follow them, it's x.com slash Rakoff token, R-A-K-O-F-F. It's named after octogenarian SEC cuck, uh, Judge Jed Rakoff. Now, they say not Judge Rakoff because um, he's not a crypto bro. So... I would certainly come over here and check this thing out uh, about two hours ago uh break off on a great path now what they're talking about here is they're looking at what's going on right here um th there, there's a lot of different stuff coin gecko listing that's gonna make it legitimate um Rakoff airdrop number one ibc bridge hft desk break off army formation discord 2.0 guys i'm going to encourage you one last time if you are a fan, you should check out Rakoff Token because it matters in this uh, community, if you will. And by the way, uh, Daniel, you misspelled community. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's my time, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I uh, appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, make sure that you sign up for uh, Terraport.finance. Start trading today. Go to Terra Casino. Uh, start winning Win. Go win. Go win. Why would you lose? You shouldn't lose. You should always win. And go check out Rakoff Token and get ready for that rocket airdrop, which is coming over the next couple of days. This is not financial advice. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you, and we'll talk to you again.